Judith Hansen Lassiter, What We Say Matters, Practicing Nonviolent Communication. In What We Say Matters, Practicing Nonviolent Communication, Judith Hansen Lassiter presents a transformative approach to communication by encouraging a language that is truthful but not harmful. Called I Write Speech, this practice reflects Buddhist principles encoded in the Yoga Sutra, which call for respecting both truth, satya, and non-harming, ahimsa. By incorporating nonviolent communication, NVC, developed by American psychologist Marshall Rosenberg in the 1960s, individuals can learn to express their feelings, needs, and requests clearly without causing resentment or anger. The book summary covers the key aspects of NVC, including observations, feelings, needs, and requests, and provides practical advice on approaching different relationships, such as romantic partners, children, parents, and co-workers. The Power of Right Speech Humans speak every day, yet our choice of words has a significant impact on our well-being and relationships. Our speech reflects our self-image, and it can determine how discussions unfold. Right speech, as described in Buddhist texts, emphasizes truthful language that doesn't harm others. Nonviolent communication, NVC, is a useful tool for practicing right speech. NVC fosters understanding and aims to meet everyone's needs. By using right speech, we can communicate our thoughts while maintaining healthy relationships. Practicing Nonviolent Communication Nonviolent communication is a framework for peaceful conflict resolution developed by the psychologist Marshall Rosenberg. Its foundation is laid on two essential elements that include observations and feelings. The observations should be nonjudgmental in nature, and the feelings are signals that tell us whether our needs are being met or not. Combining observations and feelings can lead to making nonviolent statements like, when I see dishes on the kitchen counter, I feel frustrated. By expressing our needs and making doable requests, we can communicate effectively. Nonviolent communication is a way to communicate truthfully and peacefully, without harming the other person. It is necessary to put these elements into practice to achieve a better understanding of this method. Communication without violence. Connecting to yourself and others is vital for nonviolent communication. It involves expressing your feelings and needs honestly and explicitly while empathizing with others. Nonviolent communication entails making genuine requests, not demands. Nonviolent communication requires more than uttering the correct phrases. It also encompasses connecting with yourself, others, and what you are saying. To achieve this, it is critical to identify your feelings and needs truthfully and express them honestly. Before speaking, take a moment of silent self-empathy to determine your position. Afterward, you can reveal your feelings and needs to establish communication and connection with your conversation partner. It is crucial to show empathy towards others' needs and emotions by putting yourself in their shoes. By empathizing, people are more likely to engage with you, leading to more open communication. Finally, it is important to make genuine requests instead of demands to engage in nonviolent communication fully. This requires accepting the possibility of denial while formulating a new request. Nonviolent communication revolves around connecting to others through empathizing, expressing your feelings and needs, and making genuine requests. Overcoming fears. Fear of judgment and anger can hinder truthful communication and decision making. To overcome these fears, it's crucial to understand how they affect us. Making decisions that meet our needs instead of succumbing to judgment requires creating an index that scores options based on how well they meet our needs. Dealing with anger involves taking a moment to identify and address the underlying emotions of hurt, fear, or frustration. Empathy for ourselves and others can help us avoid the negative repercussions of fear and anger. Nonviolent communication, connecting with loved ones. Communicating with loved ones can be challenging, but nonviolent communication can help us connect. Instead of sacrificing our needs or making demands, we can share our feelings and needs as gifts to those closest to us. Misconceptions that hinder honest communication, 
like the belief that women should sacrifice their needs or that men shouldn't have feelings, can be overcome by changing our perspective. When communicating with children, it's important to consider their need for autonomy and involve them in meeting our needs. Empathy is essential in communicating with parents and can help everyone feel more connected and open. By using nonviolent communication, we can strengthen our relationships with those we love. The Benefits of Nonviolent Communication Nonviolent communication is a powerful tool that can be applied to improve communication and relationships at work, with oneself, and in one's contribution to the world. It requires stepping out of common fears of vulnerability and embracing self-awareness and self-empathy to communicate with compassion and effectiveness. By using empathetic communication, individuals can approach conflict resolution and self-forgiveness from a place of understanding and humanity. Applying nonviolent communication in the workplace can lead to a more collaborative and respectful work environment where individuals connect with one another in a more meaningful way. The self-empathy aspect of nonviolent communication offers an opportunity for self-care and personal growth, helping individuals to move forward from their mistakes with grace. Ultimately, nonviolent communication can also be used to positively impact the world at large when individuals approach their actions and communication with understanding and empathy. Judith Hansen Lassiter's What We Say Matters, Practicing Nonviolent Communication, Advocates for a Mindful, Empathetic, and Honest Approach to Communication, Helping Individuals Connect on a Deeper Level and Resolve Conflicts Effectively. By practicing right speech and employing the principles of nonviolent communication, individuals can transform their interactions with others, leading to increased understanding and stronger relationships. Throughout the book's summary, Lassiter highlights the importance of self-empathy, connecting with others, and avoiding judgment and anger. By engaging in honest, empathetic communication and expressing genuine needs and requests, individuals can positively impact their personal relationships, work environments, and, ultimately, the world around them.